Larry Munson. Uh, the old school fans know all about him. The younger ones might not. But at one time, he was as much a part of Georgia football as Ben Stooley and Herschel Walker. Larry Munson, an historic, legendary announcer. And what a shame he wasn't around for some of Georgia's most exciting football. So tonight, we decided to do our best to to emulate Larry Monson's broadcast from one of the most spectacular plays in Georgia history has happened to happen at the stroke of midnight. You might call it a midnight miracle. We feel it was a shame that Larry wasn't there. So we did our best to bring that moment back to life. Oh my goodness, what a drive! The dogs may have saved themselves here as Stetson Bennett gets them a touchdown. And this one, you think this Georgia team was done. They find a way to claw their way back into the lead. Now, can the defense, which has been picked apart by C.J. Stroud and this Ohio State receiver core, can they find a way to get one more stop? Now the dogs will use their last time out. Will it be the last time out of the season? Well, let's hope we get six more to play a week from Monday. Georgia, 42, Ohio State, 41. The game comes down to this uh, Noah Rubles kick. A transferred graduate from North Carolina. Odessa, Florida, the six foot two, 190 pound. Ohio State Buckeye is going to try to kick it from the 40 and rip her hearts out. He'll be kicking from the left to the near hash. A 50-yard try to put Ohio State in front. And the snap and the hold and the kick. And it's no good. He missed it. He shanked it to the left. He's, it's no good. Bennett and McIntosh are leaping onto the field. And the fans and the crowd is in a roar. And you have just seen a miracle. Or if you're listening in Armed Forces Radio, you certainly heard one. Rick Payne, the spotter, just told me that the moment the New Year's ball dropped, that's when the kick was no good. It happened right at the stroke of midnight. And the dogs are the beneficiaries of a midnight miracle. What a way to win a ball game. Old Lady Luck just smiled at us and she winked and maybe she rolled her tongue across her teeth right at the stroke of midnight and the dogs have won a very, very large football game and we'll get to go play TCU a week from Monday and we're still alive. A chance to defend uh, the first national title since Herschel Walker last year, and we still have a shot. We pause for station identification. You're listening to the Georgia Football Network. Scott Howard will be along for the details and the highlights. Lauren, what you got? Well, Larry, down here on the sideline, we're trying to find... Kirby Smart to talk to him about this wonderful victory, but there's so many people around, it's hard to get him, but certainly a momentous occasion, and as you said, Larry, it happened right at midnight. It was a midnight miracle indeed. Well, just in case any of you have gotten spoiled, we had a team that nobody could score on. We had a team that everybody was trying to measure themselves against, and Ohio State just came out and punched us and punched us right and left and punched us all day long, but we finally got enough, and they missed a kick at the end. But remember, we had to get a touchdown to make that happen. And a very, very large victory, as we said, and it's not over. We still got to play a really tough team. That TCU team has got talent all over the field. And they're just like us. They never quit. So it should be an interesting one. Once again, Georgia the winner, 42 to 41. You've been listening to Georgia Football. Be sure to listen next time for the next Georgia football game with Larry Munson, Scott Howard, and the Georgia Bulldog Network.